All right, today is our final day in Waterloo. It's a rainy adventure ahead of us. I don't know how I'm even gonna record the thing. My camera's not waterproof when the mic's attached. That's good times. And I didn't bring the battery door that would have made it waterproof. I'm a moron. But we do have a durian breakfast. How does that taste? Grown here in the local mountains of Waterloo, we have durian. I give it a four out of 10. So I'm gonna eat this, then we take a bus to the farmer's market and then explore a bunch of more nature, a lake, a real lake, and let's go. Farm life is upon us, my friend. We are at the farmer's market. This is the one, apparently people come from all over Ontario to hit this thing. It's like the best farmer's market in the whole province. Wow. So there's a bunch of outside stalls there and an indoor hut. I'm in a barn right now, sheltered from the pouring rain. Thank you, Waterloo. How am I gonna record any of this? St. Jacob's. Oh, here we are. We got fine herbs and garlic. I see none of those. I don't see any of them. I just see linens. I slept in a puddle. Uh, I'm wearing socks and sandals. I couldn't afford that this early. Uh, this early in the journey, that's gonna hurt. Uh, that's on me. It's like the Thailand markets, but clean. They're clean and organized. Oh, look at that. No offense, Thailand. I love you. Ontario sweet potatoes. Look at the size of those things. Five bucks for a little bushel. So you get a whole basket for 20 bucks of apples. Oh, wow. That better not be meat. I swear. There's a honey truck. You're not vegan. That's embarrassing. The only fruit we have here are apples. We have no other fruits. It's Canada. What did you expect? You expected more than apples, you were sorely mistaken. We do have cabbage and tomatoes. That's really all we're seeing here. I don't know if any of this is organic yet. Freshly dug mini potatoes. You better believe it. You better believe it. Beets, yeah, I don't know if any of this is organic. I know they have organic here, but this is fantastic. You could live here, come here every what day is it? Thursday? And you're good to go. 12 bucks for that whole thing? That's fantastic. They're not organic. So this is less fantastic. But still, the fantasies are yours. All right, we're inside the farmer's market now. There are dead birds for your purchasing pleasure. There's cow cheese, honey. Deep fried eight churros. Oh, I remember those. Lots of baked goods. Hey, there's your pie. You wanted a pie, we got it. It's at a farmer's market, so it's healthy. They have pizza. Feels more like a carnival. I know, don't you feel like you have the X or something? Yeah. Okay, we got a vegan keto situation. <laughs> Pretzel melts. Never heard of it. Didn't know it was a thing. That's crazy. Fresh made potato chips. Wow. That's how they're doing it. Wow. They go in the deep fryer first and then... That's cool. Sausages, oh no. Oh no. All right, there's a lot of a lot of masked people here. They've all bought in. Now there's pork schnitzels. Oh. Yummy. <laughs> you got all these like deep fried potato chips and it's like, I sell microgreens. They're pea sprouts. They're good for you. Keto scones. There's your keto. Oh, they're so cute. I can see why this is the most popular farmer's market with all that stuff, carnival food back there. 
That's why they're coming. It's not for the turnips. My carnivore days, I'd be all up in that. The bacon, I'd just eat it raw right here and then fall asleep. There's the world's biggest sausage. In case you needed that in your life. That's a lot of pork stomach tubing. Okay, we're upstairs. I got myself a hot apple cider. It's burning my hand. So we'll try that. Oh, sheep. Oh, it's in the shape of a sheep. Oh my God. What does it feel like? It's actual sheep. I want to touch it. Oh, I'm petting a, a dead sheep. I pet a sheep. Oh, we got the hippie crystals. We got hippie town over here. Bring bring in your your good energies from the ether. They got strange little <laughs> googly eyed things. If you need those in your life, we got them. Butterfly heart made of light bulbs. Light bulb filled butterflies. In case you were getting low on those. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Oh, this apple cider is burning my hand. Oh, the pain is real. Skeleton has a tarantula in his mouth. Oh, don't look at those. Those serve no purpose, known to man. This whole store, I'm glad nobody's in it. Take that. All right, I think we're pretty much done for the farmer's market. I bought a squash and I did have my eye on a turnip, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I might get some potatoes for dinner. And now let's head out in nature. We're heading to some serious amounts of nature outside. There's a lake, long walk in the rain. I'll film it. Oh, I'll film it. And him and his wife. No one cares. I do want to try this apple cider for you. It's just, it's going to be too hot. There's no way it's ready. I can feel it. The outside is burning me. The inside is probably hotter. That's what's making the outside warm. There's no way. Don't do it. No, no, I'm not doing it. We'll wait. All right, let's try this. I feel like it's cooling down now. I've never seen so much carnage as a little kid and I watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carnage. Oh, that's sweet heaven. It's hot, but it's heaven. Hey, horses. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? I'm petting a horse. Oh. Oh, you're a horse. You're a horse. Yes, you are. I wish I had an apple for him. I could have bought one. Well, I didn't know there was going to be their horses. Oh, their uh, there's more just random ass horses. Uh, that's, that's not a show. That's literally how they get around. That's how they do it. Those are Mennonites. This whole thing's like Mennonite farmer area. We're in the country. We're in the countryside. Okay, now we're at the Trans Canada Trail. 1.2 kilometers. This will lead us to the like conservation area and a lake. Congratulations, Waterloo. 1.3 million trips on the trail. That means you're tracking us. How else would you know it? Where are the satellites? So if I was to review that St. Jacob's Farmer's Market, it was nice. I didn't see a lot of organic. And I was just thinking the reason it's so popular, because people fly in like all over the country. This is Ontario's market. The reason is because of all that carnival food inside the deep fried frog meat. Did you see any of that? What were your thoughts on the farmer's market? It's a lot of German food, a lot of 
sausages, potatoes, waffles, mm. fried potatoes, <laughs> cheese. What's the cheese? Those Red chips. Pastries. I've never yeah. seen chips being made. We should have got them. We should have cheated. There's a doggy. There's a man and a dog. It's really cool. We've been walking along this trail and there's all these houses like that's their backyard. It's just so cool. Like you come out of your backyard and then boom, you're on the trail, nature trail. There's houses on that side as well, way off in the distance. But we're getting close to that lake. I can taste it. Oh, look at this tree house up here. Where? Oh, wow. There's a tree house. There's not much. <laughs> Those are tiny trees. I wonder who got the idea, like, oh yeah. Usually you have like a giant tree. But it's got a foundation already. Well, they built it. Well, yeah, exactly. It's not like it's tree. not, it has nothing to do with trees. Exactly. It didn't even need the trees. Not really. But they did it. And it's I like nice. it. You know, I've never seen grapes growing in the wild. And here they are. It's wild. <laughs> That's the wild. That's not a house. You don't know what you're looking at, hon. <laughs> wild grapes. Wow. They just sprung up. They leached onto their fence. Forgot to say we got some maple candies. A dollar. It's just maple syrup. Crystallized. With love. Into little maple leaves. Little maple. They're so cute. Probably can't see it. I can tell that's good for the teeth. Just the way it crystallizes up into the gum area. That's good for you. That's what you want out in nature so you have no water to rinse your mouth out after. Just let the crystals of the sugar remineralize your enamel. Just a pro tip from Vegetable Police Network. I've killed enough people today. Okay, we're at the next step of our adventure. We're at the big conservation area. So there's a bunch of trails here, then a lake. And we might continue on to the like, Waterloo Park. There's a little animal farm. So let's just see how we feel. I got bananas. I am loaded up with local Ontario bananas. And we're good. We're in nature. This is beautiful. We're getting smells that I've never smelt before. Like minty stuff. Something different. Sage. Pine. They're pine? Sage trees, I think, yeah. is what Sage we're smelling. Yeah, I do believe you're wrong. Um, you should grab one of these cobs of corn. Maybe that'll calm you down. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop harping on them. <laughs> it feels like we're just out there in the middle of the woods here. No matter where you look, all around us conservation area. She saw a chipmunk. I didn't even see it. I'm hoping to see an owl or something. Not like I could film it with this little pocket camera, but I'll do my best. Oh god. This is a bad day for socks and sandals. I'll admit it. So here we are, we're approaching that lake. We're getting there. We are getting there. There's a crossroads. I do believe we just take a left. We've seen many chipmunks. We're waiting for a deer and a fox joined by an owl. And we'll let you know when we find that. There's a chipmunk. Uh, hey little buddy. Here, a chipmunk. Here, a chipmunk. No. Found a lake and a beach and a bunch of geese. They're all afraid of us. It's unfortunate, but not one person here. Because the weather network was calling for rain, we were expecting it. Let our Santa. He's blessed our hearts. It's beautiful out. Not one drop. So we got the whole conservation area all to ourselves. Fantastic. <laughs> I 
because <laughs> mosquitoes started to come. So just following a GPS map, I'm like, okay, no worries. We go down this trail, we head right down. Head down this, you follow me, hun. I'll get us out of here. And then we just show up at this like locked fence that crosses a, a dam, a portage, if you will. And so we couldn't get through it. So we're backtracking and I'm looking for a trail. We just passed this one, it was hidden. They hide them good here. So we're on another trail, we'll live, I'm pretty sure. 80% chance. So we're heading this way and we're heading to a, a Waterloo conservation area that's separate from this and the university. That's me in the corner. Okay, that got interesting. That trail led to a fence that we hopped and we made it to the road and this should lead to another trail. I keep forgetting to film these dramatic moments where we got stopped at a fence that was over this portage people carrying canoes down there <laughs> and then the fence mosquitoes are biting me we're heading somewhere good the vegans have decimated our earth with wheat fields and the geese are feeding off it so they're still eating even though the crops have been picked look at all the live animals not being killed by tractors, are they? They're just fine. Seems he looked happy. He was flapping his wings. There's seagulls up there, crows. They're happy. I gotta tell you, last time, our last vlogs to Guelph, if you wanna watch those vlogs, those are good times. I was a carnivore back then, and one of the reasons we went there was to, I was just scoping out grocery stores looking for grass-fed beef to see if we could afford that, but, I was so tired that whole trip. I remember we went out to that lake. Oh, there's some puddles. We went to this lake and I brought my like ground pork and bacon. It was just grease soup in a Tupperware container. And I ate that and I just died. Like I just, I had no energy. I was so exhausted that whole trip. Whereas now just eating those bananas, carving up, having fruit, like it's so much better. I have so much more energy. My girlfriend's helping a worm cross the street. He's going to cross the street and safely. <laughs> Goodbye, little worm. There's a hawk. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, that was a mistake. Why to zoom in? Oh, that's a rookie error. So that's where we are right now. University of Waterloo. We thought this lake would be awesome, but there's not much to it. This whole area, it's a frisbee gulf territory. People are playing with their grandmothers. There's Waterloo University way back in the distance there. Looks like a prison or a hospital. It's not very inspiring. But we'll show you what we find. So I'll show you this lake and then I think we're out of here. <laughs> we found a little path towards it. It was beautiful a second ago with the sun glistening on the lake. Are you getting that? I'm all dark. That's fine. This is over now, the path. It ends here, it ends now. But thank you for coming with me to Waterloo. It was an interesting town. I mean, first impressions were not good in the ghetto, but as you get out into nature, not bad. In the farmer's markets, there was lots of clean looking produce. I didn't see a lot of organic and that's St. Jacob's. And I know all you addicts, that's why you go there for the farm food, not the farm produce. The, like carnival stuff that's pretend I know that's why it's the highest ranked farmers market all that stuff that should never be thrown down a gullet but I forgive you it's a nice little town once you get into Waterloo Kitchener that's a nightmare go a little north there's a bunch of little trails I could be happy here not very happy but slight amounts of happiness could be mine so I'm gonna leave thank you for coming with me to Waterloo you make it fun and that's why you'll thumb up the video. Oh, look at that. There's seven of them already. There. There's also three thumbs down. I don't like those odds. I know why you're doing it. It's because you were once a travel guide for the Waterloo industry. And you realized that the earth is poisoned with copper. And so you 
invested in copper to make money off the people's sadness. I don't think that was the noble path, was it? No, it was not, my friend. I'm in a field of wheat and lakes. Beauty is ours. So I'm gonna go catch up with my girlfriend. She disappeared up the top of a hill. We're out, we're out, heading home tomorrow. See you then. No, I won't. I'm gonna go after you subscribe.